Hi guys! Mabuhay! Kumusta ka mo dida? I am Dave, an aspiring content creator. And for this vlog, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang Japan Visa application. So FYI guys, first time kong mag-apply ng Japan Visa and thank God, last month, last December, ay na-approve ito. And um, actually, bukas na yung flight ko, January 15. Buti na lang, again, thank God, hindi siya na-cancel. Kasi diba, um, nung Sunday, ay nag to yung um, Bulkang Taal. Okay, tapos bumalik na rin naman sa normal yung operation sa, you know, na iya. And hindi siya na-cancel. So, Lord, sana po um, um, tumigil na sa pag to yung Taal. Kumalman na ito. Kasi aside from the risk, aside from the risk, syempre na, um, makansal yung flight, syempre marami din komunidad ang apektado, ba? Kahit dito, umabot siya sa Metro, Ma umabot siya sa Metro Manila, ba? Yung Ashfall. Kaya kanina, paglabas ko ng, you know, um, sa Ortigas, ang daming nakamask. So, sana kumalma na talaga ang um, Bulkang Taal. So, ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang requirements and my experience, okay? My experience bilang first-time applicant na wala naman talaga masyado. Kasi, actually, guys, um, Um, mas nahirapan ako mag-apply sa Korean visa kasi mas maraming requirements. Tapos, application form pa lang, 5 um, pages na, compared sa Japan visa um, application form na 2 pages lang. So, wala ganong hassle, wala ka masyadong iisipin. Tapos, um, pinili ko ang January kasi syempre, um, winter, gusto ko makakita ng snow. My gosh, first time ko magja-Japan talaga. Eh. First time ko talaga magja-Japan guys at first time kong may experience ang winter. So, sana makita ko ng snow. Kasi nung nag-Korea ko last November 2019, it was autumn. So, parang ibang experience naman. So, again, mas nahirapan ako sa Korean visa. So, feeling ko para sa mga nakapag-apply na ng Korean visa, medyo madali na lang itong um, Japan visa. Pero syempre na... Pero syempre, kinabahan din ako, ba? Kasi di rin natin alam yung Japan, kung gaano sila ka-strict, right? So, here we go, the requirements. So, first, of course, Philippine passport, alright? I believe lahat naman ng um, um, visa application ay nagre-require ng um, Philippine passport. So, again, dapat hindi ito broken para tanggapin. And uh, kung yung visa nyo ay mag expire um, dapat makapag-Japan kayo um, as before ng 6 months bago mag-expire yung um, inyong passport. Okay? And second ay visa application form. So again, um, itong visa application form ay 2 pages lang. Tapos actually itong mga lista ng requirements, itong visa application form, makikita nyo sa um, website ng Japanese Embassy. Okay, makikita nyo doon. Uh, pati yung mga letter of guarantor, ganun kung magpapag-guarantor ka, wala ka masyadong pera, tapos, or isudyante ka, pwede ka magpag-guarantor sa magulang mo. Ganun. And, uh, for the visa application form, um, again, you can download this um, through the embassy website. Actually, may binabasa ako, guys. Itong binabasa ko to. Itong binabasa ko, galing to sa embassy um, website. So, sa visa application form, Actually, um, syempre yung mga, mind, yung mga um, vital details about you. Okay, so two pages lang to. Tapos, wag kayo mag-leave ng blank, blank space. Okay, um, kung hindi applicable sa inyo, of course, write NA. Okay, NA. Wag kayo mag-leave blank. And again, application forms should be filled out all items correctly. Okay, okay, dapat... Um, Um, correct yung nilagay nyo sa application form. Okay? And uh, doon sa application form may nakalagay na address sa Japan. Okay? Ang ginawa ko doon actually, nagtigintingin ako sa you know, website ng uh, Agoda for example booking.com. Tapos tinay kong um, magbook lang muna. Kasi kailangan kailangan din ng contact number eh. Kailangan din ng contact number kung saan ka magsistay doon sa Japan. Kaya, I initially booked. Tapos, kinuha ko yung number. Kasi, I think, bak hindi ko lang alam. Kung hindi mo ibubook, hindi mo makukuha yung, um, yung number. So, ang ginawa ko, kinansel ko din eventually yung um, booking. So, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Okay? Um, kapag titingin kayo ng hotel, 
I think kailangan mo nang i-book para makuita yung contact number. Pero syempre kung may kamag-anak kayo doon, edi mas maganda, 'di ba? And kung may makita kayong contact number na hindi niyo na kailangan ma-book, edi better din. Okay? So um the application may be denied, syempre kung may na-fill out kayo na incorrect or wrong information. Parang nakakatakot talaga. Um, magsinungaling sa mga ganito, ba? Diba? Baka makasuhan ka pa. Ganon. So, next ay, of course, the photo. Photo, yung size ay 4.5 cm by 4.5 cm. Centimeter. Tapos, dapat white background siya. So, ayun. Um, photo must be taken within 6 months. Actually, dapat lang hindi sobrang hindi sobrang iba yung mukha mo. Hindi sobrang iba yung mukha mo doon sa photo na, na isasubmit mo. Okay? Actually, paano nalaman na 6 months, ba diba? So, just be, just to be safe, um, just take your photo um, within 6 months, okay, ng application nyo. Tapos, write your name and birthday um, uh, sa likod ng photo. Tapos, photo must be pasted on the application form. Huwag kayong gagamit ng stapler. Okay. And actually wala akong dalang ano nun. kasi nung nag-apply ako, nung nag-apply ako ng Japan visa, the day itself wala pa akong photo. So nagpa-picture lang din ako sa mall. Tapos sila na bahala lang naglagay ng paste, ng glue. So meron naman 'yan sa agency. So guys, again, speaking of agency, kailangan niyo palang dumaan sa agency. Okay? Kailangan niyo yung dumaan sa agency. Actually, um, 5 to 6 working days. 5 to 7 working days. Actually, nung nag-apply ako, this November, basta November, tapos after one week, nakuha ko siya. Okay? December ko siya nakuha. So, mga last week ako ng November nag-apply nun. So, actually, mabilis lang compared sa Korean visa na maabot ng ilang araw ba? My gosh. Ah, uh, nung amin, umabot ng one month, ganung levels. Okay, so ito mas mabilis lang. Okay, tapos may mga accredited naman na travel agencies na pwede kayo pag-applyan. Tapos, of course, kung may kulang or kung may, kung hindi papasa yung, um, yung pera mo, ba yung show money mo, i-advise kayo nila na um, wag lang muna mag-apply or humanap muna ng paraan. Like, for example, magpag-garantor. So, next is birth certificate. So, birth certificate ay kailangan ay PSO. O oh, PSA rather, PSA. I think hindi na tinatanggap yung NSO. So, nag-apply ulit ako. Pero sa PSA na. Kasi yung birth certificate ko dito ay NSO. So, sinasabi dito na dapat, uh, um, if the birth certificate from Philippine Statistics Office or PSA is unreadable or has incomplete information, Please submit the birth certificate issued by PSA together with the birth certificate issued by the local civil registrar. Okay, kasi may mga cases na ganun eh, na hindi mabasa yung PSA. ba? Siyempre, important din yun. So, actually guys, may instruction din naman. Okay? And, uh, actually, um, pagkukuha ka sa PSA, mabilis lang eh. Like, within, within one day, makukuha mo siya. Okay? Like, actually, Pila ka lang ng one hour, ganun, tapos makukuha mo agad siya. And of course, may bayad. I forgot, 120 at ang bayad nun? 120 ba? Or 160? Basta may bayad guys ng pagkuha ng PSA. So again, um, PSA, photo, um, visa application form, and passport. So next, marriage certificate. Okay. Um, marriage certificate, kung ikaw of course ay married. Hindi <laughs> ka pa naman married kung single ka like me. Hindi na kailangan yun. <laughs> Tapos next, daily schedule in Japan. So, eto naman. Ang ginawa ko, one page lang to. Tumingin ako ng itinerary. Like, seven days kami. Seven days na itinerary for Japan. Mar marami, maraming um, itinerary, itinerary dyan online. Di naman, di naman necessary na detailed siya. Okay? Basta alam lang ng... Basta alam lang ng, you know, embassy na may patutunguhan ka sa Japan. Like, nandun ka talaga for vacation, okay? So, ito pala ay for tourist, guys, ha? For tourist, ito. So, um, sa schedule of stay, kailangan mo ng, of course, contact number. So, ayun nga, mahalaga um, na 
may contact number ka ng hotel na pagsistayan mo kasi yun lang din yung nilagay ko guys yung contact number ng hotel okay so actually one page lang itong ginawa ko tapos na approve naman ako okay so next ay bank certificate okay so tanong um, magkano ba yung average I mean magkano ba ang dapat na laman ng bank account mo so ideally I think is 10,000 per day Okay, so kung 5 days ka doon, like, dapat may 50k ka. Kasi yung friend ko, um, nag-apply siya sa agency, tapos hindi tinanggap kasi 30k lang yung pera niya. So, sinadjust na magpa-garantor siya. Okay, so make sure guys na medyo safe yung pera nyo sa, you know, sa bank statement nyo. Kasi, I mean sa bank certificate nyo. Kasi, you know, na mas, mas okay na na... Um, safe, okay? Kung hindi kayo confident, magpa-garantor na lang kayo. So, itong garantor naman, um, may ano to, may listahan din siya ng dapat, uh, you know, submit mo. Okay, ito guys. Actually, nasa internet din siya eh. Kasi, uh, kailangan, ng, kailangan ng proof na may relationship kayo, sa, may relationship ka sa garantor mo. Okay, for example, yung kaibigan ko, nag-submit siya ng live birth ng kapatid niya, nag-submit siya ng ITR ng kapatid niya, eh, nag-submit siya ng bank statement ng kapatid niya. Okay, so again, for um, kung may sponsor ka or guarantor, guarantee letter, proof of relationship with guarantor, bank certificate, and income tax return, di ba, of sponsor or guarantor. Okay, kung kaya mo naman mas ma you know, masalo yung sarili mo, hindi mo na kailangan 'yon. Okay? So what else ang ating Actually guys, kung may question kayo, okay, you can comment down um below. So far, 'yun lang naman. So size of document for application should be, you know, A4 size only. If document is other size, please submit copy that is already adjusted in A4 size from its original and without staples or pasting pages. So actually guys, yung ITR, kasi hindi siya A4, like pinakonvert ko pa siya to A4. So yun guys, applicants are exempted from submitting um, 4 and 5 marriage certificate and birth certificate kung kung you know, may old or valid passport sila na my Japan visa. Okay? So, ayun, again, ito pa, it is applicant's responsibility to ensure that he or she meet the requirements for the grant of visa. Submission of any supporting documents not listed above is encouraged. For example, applicant's economic or social ties with the Philippines, urgent reasons for visit like medical certificate or wedding invitation. So, yun guys, um, may tanong ba kayo? Kung may tanong kayo, just comment down below. Ito, uh, babalikan natin yung um, Japan requirements. So, again, valid Philippine passport, a duly accomplished Japan visa form, photo ID, birth certificate from PSA, marriage certificate if married from PSA, daily schedule in Japan, and, uh, you know, additional requirements naman para sa mga kailang ng guarantor. Like, guarantee letter, proof of relationship with guarantor, bank certificate, and ITR um, ITR of sponsor or guarantor. So guys, kailangan din pala ng ITR. Hindi ko pala na-mention. Okay, income tax return. Okay, In income tax return. Okay. So, ayun, may questions ba? Kung may questions, again, just comment down um, below. Okay. So, I'm so excited na mag-Japan na, bukas na. Okay, so I hope mag-enjoy ako. Um, gagawa ko ng vlogs, experiences ko, experiences ko doon, like everyday vlog. Sana makapag-upload ako everyday, mapush ko yon. Okay, so that's it guys. Mag-apply na lang kayo sa agency. Okay, last hassle. Tapos actually, required data na gumawa sa agency. 900 pesos siya. Okay, so pwedeng, pwedeng valid for, pwedeng stay... Um, validity ng stay ay 15 days, 30 days, or 90 days. Pero mag-expire naman yung visa. Um, 90 days. Okay, 3 months. So guys, that's it. I hope to see you in my next vlog. This is so spontaneous. Goodbye!